The Michigan Geological Survey has a long history in Michigan. In fact, it was the very first department created when Michigan became a state. The task of the survey was to survey the land and determine what resources were available and to make Michigan look attractive to people to settle in Michigan. It was viewed by the public as a land with swamps and sand hills. To promote the settlement in Michigan, the survey was conducted. McGree stands for the Michigan Geological Repository for Research and Education. And within McGree, we host over 600,000 feet of linear core and cutting samples from more than 30,000 wells, data and maps, historic documents. Some of our oldest um, documents are from the 1800s. So we have quite literally a warehouse full of the, the raw data that is needed for any type of geologic characterization. We don't see the rocks that are beneath our feet. Uh, because they're covered by hundreds of feet of uh, unconsolidated sand and gravel, uh, most people don't have any idea what the rock material is that's down below the Earth's surface. So having the wells that have been drilled and saving and collecting that material is essential because if, if a well gets drilled and that material is not saved or the records are not saved, it's as if that well had never been drilled. We've essentially created a rare books archive, if you will, of the geology uh, that's under your feet here in the state of Michigan. Our connection with Western Michigan University has been an incredible resource. And they not only have supported MGS or the survey, but the connection directly to faculty and to students is the, the greatest asset. We prize ourselves in the department in giving our students a lot of hands-on experiential learning. So we have a lot of courses that involve research, we have courses that involve field trips. Um, we want to make sure that all of our undergraduate and our graduate students have some form of research experience and the survey provides a, a unique opportunity for the students to get those experiences. One of our faculty, Dr. Steve Kazmer, he works closely with Dr. Autumn Hagsma on the uh, carbon capture, utilization, and storage, the CCUS projects. So he's able to not only get his own, you know, typical faculty work, publications out of that, but also provide research opportunities for his students. Our natural resources are what drives our society and our communities and provides all the materials that we need from energy like oil and gas to energy storage to creating the, the minerals and materials that we need to create products. It's all from our geology. Uh, so having uh, the rocks here at MGS helps us know where to look for those and how to characterize those uh, and gives us access to it, especially when in Michigan all of our rocks are under the surface. The geology of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So these old Precambrian age rocks have been flagged by the USGS as having subsurface potential for critical mineral systems. Probably the most well-known example is the 1.1 billion year old Mid-Continent Rift, which is host to a number of nickel copper deposits, including the Eagle Deposit, which is being mined right here in Michigan, and it is the only primary nickel producing mine in the US. And we are doing a really detailed, thorough sampling program over these mine waste features in order to characterize the volume, the geochemical compositions, the bulk mineralogical compositions, and then any contained minerals of interest. The big picture goal of the data that we're collecting for this project is not only to support the national effort to strengthen critical mineral supply chains, but we'll also provide the framework for new technologies for simultaneous extraction and remediation of mine waste. So to put it another way, um, solutions that will benefit both the economy and the environment. So one of the big things we're doing at the Michigan Survey is we are mapping the distribution, the thickness, and the characteristics of glacial and post-glacial sediments throughout the state. It's really important for Michigan because they're a really important source of groundwater throughout the state and also a source of materials such as sand and gravel. 
In addition to mapping, a really important part of this work is trying to piece together the complex geologic history of the Laurentide Ice Sheet in Michigan, as well as the post-glacial variations in lake levels that the Great Lakes had. We're very lucky that we're able to accomplish this work with the support of both state and federal government funding agencies and in partnerships with folks from you know, everywhere from academia to industry to state and local governments and nonprofits. Um, so it's just a, it's a good time. Geology is easy to overlook, but it impacts our everyday lives. Everything that we touch comes from the earth and understanding where those resources come from and how to use them is very important to us. So I'm excited for the future of our survey and where we are going with the expansion and support of what we do and coming back to our mission that we lost our way on and bringing Michigan stronger into the future and back up to stand amongst the ranks of our sister states.